Tonight's topic. People always say that God is getting angry about something. God doesn't like the gay people. Gay do God doesn't like people having boobies exposed. Gay God doesn't like someone going over there and fucking this woman. Now, the question here is, does God have a right to even get angry? Since he's supposed to know everything in advance, why would he get angry about it? If he is in charge and he knows what's going on before we do it can you really say you're gonna you can be legally get angry about something if i know if i set certain objects in motion that happen or if i know that they're going to happen i wouldn't be angry about it i i mean of course that's just my rational mind going hey i wanted this to happen if i set the glass down and i know it's going to fall can i get angry that it fell and broke because I knew if I said it in a certain way that it was going to fall, at, not could fall, because could would imply that, hey, it might happen, it might not. If I knew it was going to fall, then I have no re right to get angry. I mean, I could be angry at myself because I knew of, 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 in advance that for sure that was going to that was going to happen it was going to fall then you could be angry at my i could be angry at myself i'm not going to be angry at the glass i'm not going to be angry at my daughters or anybody else for any reason just or and just myself so if god is going to be angry with somebody he's going to have to be angry with himself so we're going to start the time on this and we're going to start with robin you're going to go first and the time there, there it is the timer is right over here there it is and timer starts now um, no, he has no right to be angry. I think uh, God is probably um, suffering from paranoid schizophrenia. Um, he decides to create something that's going that he knows is going to happen. He's almost like a two-year-old child, mm -hmm. okay? The two-year-old child wants something to happen a certain way, okay? He creates it and knows it's going to happen. Right. When it doesn't happen right, he throws a shit bit and destroys everything. Right. And the thing is, that, you know, if, if he, if he already knew, but he knows everything. He's supposed to. He knew it was going to go wrong. He knew everything was going to happen. Right. He knew. I mean, he knows from the get go. Everything, all this crap is going to happen. But no, let's just wipe out the entire world once, twice, as many times as he he feels necessary until right. he gets it right. Yeah. And then the the fact is, that it's like, oh well, God's going to come back and wipe away all everybody away. And, or, like, look at Sodom and Gomorrah. God looked down and was like, huh, look at all these people having sex. I didn't like to have the way they had sex. They're having sodomy and things like that. So but I'm it gonna was start okay over. for Lot to offer his two daughters to be fucking yeah, gangrene? Exactly, exactly. Okay, and he's the only righteous man. He was the only righteous man that, that they could find that's in a, Sodom. Exactly. But and, he offered his daughters to be gang raped. Right. And if that's that's an, so righteous. Yeah, exactly. And that's... Well, you know, in God's eyes, women are 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 garbage. They're not worth anything because it. it there's a, another one where they uh, throw the women out to the guys and they rape them until they fucking died. But right. But the fact is, did did God say anything? Oh, you should have done that. No, but and but he's okay with that. You know, but we're we're kind of getting off topic. I'm oh, sorry. That's okay. <laughs> but the fact is. He knows all this shit was going to happen. Like, then going back to Sodom and Gomorrah, he knew that everything was going on there. Why would he get angry with his the, his children? Because, and we're supposed to, if we're all made in God's image, we're all God's children. Then why would he get angry with us for? I mean, for uh, doing the things he knew we were going to do. That doesn't and make any sense. And if we're all made in God's image, doesn't that make God bisexual? <laughs> I mean, it does, right? <laughs> I never thought of that. That's that's interesting. Well, it does because he likes likes it both ways. Yeah. So yeah. he created us. Yeah, and he you created know, gay people. He created straight people. Yeah. He must like it both ways. Exactly. And you know, the thing is, and and everybody says, "Oh, God hates porn." Fuck you guys. God, God, God was, watches God. porn every single right. day. Right. He's watching you fuck. He's watching me <laughs> fuck. He's watching everybody fuck. I mean, he's watching the gays fuck. He's watching the lesbians fuck. You know, hey, then he's watching. If he's watching everybody fuck, we're just porn for him. So, hey. All right. Well, and, <laughs> well, you know, we don't think, I mean, I don't think a God exists. So the question is ridiculous <laughs> yeah i mean honestly it's just ridiculous yeah what what irritates me more is the people who 
on earth who are passing judgment, isn't that a sin in and of itself? Yeah, judge not, thou shalt be judged. Yep. So if there is a God up there, aren't they the ones who are going to hell? Not you and me. Right? Right. I would say the people who are judging other people for their, the, the way who they love and so forth. So, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Okay, uh, Connie, your so, thoughts. Well, um, believers will allow God anger because God is righteous. And Jesus paid for the bill of sin, so he kind of wipes out that whole Old Testament thing. Usually when I looked up when I looked up about anger it always popped up um are you angry with god when I was looking in search engines mm -hmm. which just I came to the conclusion that as a christian as believers they say it's not you it's me mm -hmm. you know they 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 don't blame god and they blame themselves you know they blame themselves for the state of you know and they allow their abusive spouse which is god to sweet talk them into letting them off the hook Mm -hmm. Until the next time. And the weird thing is, it really is you. I think that's the strangest thing of all because like those thrillers where the person is not a twin but a split personality, mm -hmm. you are your own abuser. Oh, yeah. You know, so when people realize that there, if people would come to the point where they realize that God is not proven, he's imaginary mm -hmm. and a construct of our own mind, we realize that we could be free, that we are, you know... It, so, no, it doesn't make any sense. We've imbued God with human attributes. Right. Again, you know, that's, that's all that is. Right. And there's no way a perfect being would be angry about this. Yeah, stuff. why would he fucking give a shit to begin with? I mean, if he... Yeah. And I was watching Robin's video uh, earlier tonight. She said, it's like, well, God made breasts. So if God made breasts, then why would he get angry if people showing them? It doesn't make sense. Uh, Crystal, yeah. your thoughts? Uh, this is one that I kind of really struggle with because I have to agree with you guys. I mean, it's just illogical. It doesn't make any sense. Um, if you're all-knowing, all-loving creator of all things, how can you be angry when you know this is going to happen? Right. And, you know, coming from a Christian point of view, it, it, when you look at it, just just like in Psalms, it, Psalms, it, the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger, and like... More to love, anyway, is something like that. Um, <laughs> and then you look, and the Bible is filled with a ton of things about God's wrath, God's anger. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. So I, I, I don't put a whole lot of faith in that theory. Yeah, I, and the thing is, I don't think, I personally, I, I see it as like this. I, the, I see the natural world. I don't see a god, the reason for a god or any god for that matter. So the fact is that the. the, the that God's getting angry. It's just people are trying to use the natural laws that are going on around them to explain something. You know, they, they see we see cor humans see correlation between two different things. They but sometimes those correlations correlation does not equal causation. And people have still not learned that we have an, an earthquake. Oh well, it must be the gays that are causing the earthquake. No, it's not. It's just that you know, hey, the Earth is we're on a, a living planet. Things shift around, and it says not because people are getting married that you don't like. That's none. Of, that's not any of that there. So, well, we have about what eight seconds left here. <laughs> well, you know, Dawkins said something in the chat room. He said, "If G if Jesus loves everyone, doesn't that devalue his love?" Oh, there you go. There you go. That's uh, true. There you go. All right. Well, that's our time. Uh, I'm going to have somebody else do the timer from now on so I don't go over. <laughs> so I was watching. I was being a little more careful today. Uh, but, yeah, the fact is that a, a, a god is going to get angry. So if you think your god has a right to get angry, he already knows the outcome. If he already knew the outcome, he doesn't have a fucking right to get angry. Neither if you do something wrong and you know you did it, if you know the outcome of what you're going to do is going to happen, you're going to break something, something's going to fall, something's going to crash, whatever that is, and then you get angry over it, then you have a problem.